G'day. I'm on my way into the countryside to a place called Raglan, a couple of hours south of Auckland, to meet with a man who's doing something very interesting. Not only does he have three Teslas, only one of them are working, but he's also working on something regarding Nissan Leafs and batteries, or at least that's the plan. Let's go and have a look. Solar panels on the roof ahead, that's a good sign. This is Neil, and he has this, which is a Nissan Leaf inverter and complete drivetrain. And I want to ask you, Neil, yep. why do you have this? <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate quiz. Because, like you, I like messing around with electric vehicles, and this is an amazingly reliable, amazingly powerful little piece of kit. When somebody crashes a Nissan Leaf, this is still useful. Um, and we've got our hands on a little control box that means we can actually drive the Nissan Leaf drivetrain without needing the miles and miles of cabling from a Nissan Leaf. Now this is only one of the two <laughs> Nissan Leaf drivetrains you have. Yes. What are you going to do with one of these? Ah, well, <laughs> it's going to go into a vehicle of some sort. You're trying to trap me. To I am trying, to, to, I'm trying uh, to make you say something you'll regret. It's definitely <laughs> going to go into a vehicle, whether it goes into a conversion that I do or a conversion that someone commissions me to do. Um, a commission would be much better. Um, I did, possibly a VW T5, we, we keep, we're sort of, my partner's keen on having an electric camper van, so that would be a nice, nice conversion. How do you get your hands on one of these, typically? Like if I wanted to buy one, where do I go? So there's a couple of ways, I mean, you can go to your car auction houses that often have insurance um, in auctions, so you can buy a complete car and then you have to strip it yourself, which has its benefits. Or you can go to people, there's, there's not many in New Zealand, but blue cars specialise in this kind of thing. So blue cars up in Auckland who've been working on Nissan Leafs for as long as Nissan Leafs exist, really. They, they're a good place to, to go for it. Okay, so maybe camper van conversion, not going to put it in writing, but watch this space. Do you have a website or anything that people can go to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are Raglan Electric Bikes. You've got a crap load of electric bikes in here too. So yeah, I used to do electric bikes. That's what got me involved with batteries initially. And then as electric vehicles start to come back, and also this workshop we're in is off-grid solar powered. So I've, I've been messing around with everything that's kind of connected to batteries. We're surrounded by electric drive, but this then leaves there's a Tesla outside. We've got electric bikes. I'm, I'm going to state the obvious and assume that this is going to be converted or is already converted to electricity? It's already converted to electricity. Oh, no way. So, so this is fantastic plywood engineering. This is a, a little brushed DC motor. Yeah. Goes straight where the petrol used to be. This is one plywood box full of batteries. Behind you there is exactly the same plywood box full of batteries. And together we've got about four kilowatt hours of storage in here, which is quite a lot. So yeah, motor, controller, BMS, something you never have to worry about when you had your lead acid batteries. Mm -hmm. um, there's no cutting deck on it at the moment because we had an interesting incident with a fence. Whoops, <laughs> that sounds expensive. It's now disentangled, so it's all right. So we should be ready to go. So on, and yep, there we go. is entirely fossil fuel free. Except for the thing that's behind you, which is my parents' camper van, which I really that's don't like having around. Yes. We won't okay. show that. <laughs> don't show it, don't show it. <laughs> Fantastic, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to wash this space because I know you've got, uh, 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 can we say how many Teslas you have? Yeah, if you want to. Go on. Okay, so I've got one working Tesla. Right outside, yeah. And I've got three dead Teslas, which will hopefully become another working Tesla and some good bits for projects. So an awful lot of battery. All right, okay. I'm gonna be watching this with interest and seeing if we can do something interesting with this. Uh, I would like to leaf. say that you can now buy electric cars off the shelf and doing conversion only really if it's a particular car that you can't, you know, you, like say a VW T5, there isn't a good alt offering as an electric for something like that at the moment. There's the LDB, but they're horrible bands. So that, and that kind of thing, like, uh, conversion makes sense, but as time goes by, it's going to make less and less sense. What I'm working towards is using complete batteries to buffer the grid, to become grid batteries, because that is a 
a field which is fairly new and it can make your, your normal fossil fuel powered grid much more efficient, basically making it a hybrid, making it a big press. And it also enables you to go renewables, a much higher percentage of renewables, more quickly because you can buffer when you have clouds come over your big solar farm or when you have a, an hour or two of no wind. Okay, now this is something really interesting hidden down in the corner here. Check this out. A little house on the prairie full of batteries, Nissan Leaf batteries. This is powering the entire section. Of course, there are solar panels on the roof. And this is keeping the whole thing running day and night. Batteries on the grid are going to be outstanding and used EV batteries are an amazing source of batteries. Again, finding uses for things that maybe have passed their sell-by date for what they were originally designed to do. So the, these are the projects that I'm excited about. The vehicles are fun, they appeal to my inner teenager, but yeah, it's, it's changing the world for the good in a big way that I'd love to be involved with.